They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, and now more than ever, people are turning towards specific foods to help boost immunity. Today, we're talking to Tatiana Bone Company, founder of Eat Sunny. She's sharing her delicious recipes that also promise to keep our bodies healthy. Tatiana, we are all at home with limited ingredients, but you say it is super important to feed our bodies with healthy food to boost our immunity. Yes, now more than ever, we need to put our bodies in a position where we can we can fight disease, we can fight infection. So what foods should we be incorporating into our diets? The main nutrients are zinc, which can be found in chicken, eggs, legumes, those are the beans of any kind. Also, you want antioxidants because they fight oxidative stress and they allow your, your body to be able to defend, it, defend itself from infections a lot better. Then also on top of that, you want anti-inflammatory spices like turmeric. One of my tricks is to make sure you always add black pepper when you're cooking with turmeric because it increases your body's ability to absorb the curcumin, which is the active compound in turmeric, by 2,000%. And you were also saying things like ginger, uh, onions, garlic are also very good as well. Is that right? So the other, the other foods that you want to make sure you're consuming right now are prebiotics and probiotics. So probiotics can be found in Greek yogurt, anything fermented, and then prebiotics are what feed the probiotics. So scientists think that about 70% of our immunity actually comes from our gut. So garlic and onion, sunchokes, and a lot of different vegetables as well. Now you and I are gonna put these foods to the test. So what's first on our agenda? I don't know anybody who doesn't like a good old fashioned waffle. Just make a few little substitutions. So instead of white flour, we use almond flour, again, full of nutrients, and rolled oats. Put them in a blender, blend them, turn them into flour. Then we get that great prebiotic fiber. I add a little bit of extra vanilla and then blueberries because they're super high in antioxidants. Mmm, mmm, oh yeah. And for lunch, what do we have on the menu? So for lunch, we have a grain bowl. Um, mine has kale, which is one of my favorite vegetables right now because it really does last a long time in the refrigerator. And again, it's full of those wonderful antioxidants. I also have quinoa, tomatoes. My favorite part of the bowl, at least, are, are these uh, roast, roasted cauliflower made with turmeric. You're getting everything that's good for you in one bowl. This is so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And now we are on to dinner. Well, dinner, we're not really reinventing the wheel very much. Grandmother knew it best, chicken soup. The only thing that we're really changing about it is adding sweet potatoes, which are super high in vitamin A and lots of garlic. What I love to do with my chicken soup, which is a little bit, I would say, kind of Italian, is um, I add Parmesan. It's a healthy and finally, we cannot forget a delicious alcoholic beverage because right. we deserve it. Yes. <laughs> Yes, okay, I mean, absolutely. What I like to do with my cocktails is use honey. Honey is antimicrobial. Then of course, citrus juice. Um, the vitamin C from limes and lemons and tequila. This is not half bad, I feel like I'm sitting on the beach. Before we go, I want you to tell us about Eat Sunny. The mission of Eat Sunny is really simple. It's simply to make eating healthy easier. And we do that by formulating our meals uh, based on the Mediterranean diet approach. So everything is very balanced. We are ready to feed New Yorkers. If you wanna take good care of yourself, just go to eatsunny.com and order your food. We'll bring it to your doorstep, easy as that. Well, thank you so much, Tatiana. Feel good, eat good, and uh, hopefully boost that immune system. Yes, well, I can't wait for you to try my recipes. I can't wait. <laughs>